Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and with the price reveal for the new kill team, Chalnath, I thought this would be a good time just to have a really close look at the set and see if it is good value for money. Chalnath is a new expansion for Kill Team and it's up for pre-order this weekend and with Games Workshop if you order it on their website they're going to give a pre-order weekend promise so as long as you order that before 8am on Monday the 1st of November you're guaranteed to get a box. I wonder if the price is going to put people off and whether this pre-order weekend promise is even necessary in this case. So I thought in this video we'll have a really good look through the set and the content, see exactly what's going to be included. And then hopefully that'll give you an idea as to whether or not you think this is worth adding to your collection. So first up, we're going to get the new book, the Chalnath War Manual. And this is a 96 page campaign book. And this is exactly the same number of pages as Kill Team Octarius book. So we can certainly expect it to have the same contents in there. We're going to get that background law, the Spec Ops narrative campaign rules and nine scenarios which make up the Shadow Operations Chalnath mission pack. We're also going to get all the rules for the two Kill Teams that are included and all their data cards as well. A new manual means new rules and now we're going to get this punishing vantage point rule and this is going to help with some attacks and also defense if you're in this punishing vantage point. So that's one extra that we can add to the terrain rule list and also there's one for the hatch and now an operative can move vertically through parts of the terrain that are hatches as if they weren't there and this will be done with a climb unless they can fly or with a drop. You've also got the door rule and an operative can move through this part of the terrain as if it were not there and can do so even if its base is too large to fit through this part of the terrain feature. But it says to remember that an operative must finish a move in a location it can be placed. Therefore, it must finish the move wholly on one side of the door or the other. If you're a fan of the Sisters of Battle, then you're going to get all the data cards for the different fighters that are available. And these are packed with some unique actions and abilities. And you're going to get lots of other rules so that you can really customize this kill team. And if you've been liking the recent articles in White Dwarf that are really going to town on bringing the different kill teams to life with their custom rules, then you're going to really like this. So if you're into playing these specific kill teams and really learning how they operate on the battlefield, then this is going to be great. And you're going to get the same for the Tau. So if you want to play the Tau as your main kill team and, or as another kill team, then you're going to get all the data cards and lots more rules as well. And that's all going to be personalized and take into account their abilities and things like that. So this book is going to be packed with extra rules to learn. So if you don't mind that, then I think this is going to be great. And again, I really think the kill team is a game to focus on individual kill teams and really learn the rules before moving on and collecting more. Next, we're going to get this board and terrain. So you're going to get the double sided game board. And you can see on the image, it's kind of the same color as the Octarius board, very similar, but with a different rubble coming through. So I think if you wanted to put these together with the Octarius board to make a larger battlefield, they would kind of blend together a little bit. But for me, I would have liked to have seen something completely different. So we had a nice contrast because you want this board for kill team. You don't really want to expand it and play 40K if you're buying a kill team expansion necessarily. So I think to have different boards that would go with the terrain a bit more, I think would have been a lot nicer. And the terrain itself, you're going to get seven pieces all together. And this is the sector imperialis terrain set and so you've got these walls and platforms and these platforms are going to bring in those new rules that we looked at earlier with the doors and hatches and the the vantage point the extra um, vantage point that gives you a little bit more in the way of cover as well so this is going to be a nice feature to bring those rules into the game and i think the recent errata also allowed for these these different sized terrain pieces too so this terrain set is nothing new, we've certainly seen it before, um, but I think it still holds up, it looks really great. And I saw some similar terrain painted in the recent battle report on the Warhammer TV channel, and I think they did a great job doing it in that black and white. I think it looked really awesome, the battlefield they made was fantastic. And I'll be doing a video, just uh, like a review of that, very soon, so look out for that coming in the next day or two. Now let's have a look at the two kill teams that are going to be included. And we've got the brand new Adeptus Sororitas 
novitiates, and they're going to go up against the Tau Pathfinders. Now, the Tau Pathfinders are a set that have existed for a while, but there is a sprue upgrade for those. So we'll have a look at that sprue in a little while. But let's focus on the Adepta Sororitas Novitiates first. And we'll have a really good look at the sprue images that were put up on the Warhammer community site. So I think this is going to really appeal to anyone who wants this warband to see the different weapon options we can do. But the models themselves look fantastic. This one's a great pose. So let's have a look at those sprues next. So we'll get three sprues all together, and here's the first one. And the first thing that jumped out to me was these guns. They look a lot like an AK-47 from the A-Team. It really reminds me of that, how they would like go around the band shooting the, the AK-47 out the door. And so that was pretty funny. But we've got lots of cool bits on here. You can see down here, this is a really nice piece where we've got the strap going over the shoulder. So I liked how they've positioned that. And so there's tons of different guns. Um, rifles, swords and different weapons like that. Over here you can see one of the swords and I think there's some different versions of that too. So I think you've got lots of nice choices here on these sprues and certainly in the way of those AK-47s I think they look good. And then we've got this other sprue here which is going to give loads of little features and different weapons again. So this is a, a really important sprue I think. This is going to have a lot on offer and you can see there's just so many different choices of things that they can carry. You've got the different whips, you've got these the chainsaw at the top left is fantastic. That looks really awesome. And then we've got the different pistols as well. So yeah I really like the look of this. There's a weapon to the right hand side. I'll just circle it. Yeah here we go it's circled. This looks really good as well. So I think they've done a great job kitting these out and you're going to get lots of options to put together. And I think that was something I really like from the Octaria set, building the two kill teams and choosing which operatives and which weapons I'd give them was really fun. Then we've got the Tau Pathfinders, again an older set, but we are going to get an upgrade sprue for that. But as far as kill teams go, I think these look really great. I think they'd be fun to play. And so I love the idea of, of these kind of killer nuns going up against these fish heads people. So I think it'd be a really fun contrast and narratively, I think it's got a lot to offer. But here's the sprue that's the upgrade sprue. So let's have a look at that a little bit closer and we'll see exactly what we're going to get. Now, I would have liked to have seen these heads the other way around so we get a better look at some of the faces because you can't see, well, in fact, most of them have got their heads turned around. And we've got one pair of legs here, so we're going to get a different position to one of the fighters as well, one of the operatives. And this is a nice touch. We've got one of the arms throwing an actual grenade, so I really like that. I think that looks really cool when you see that on one of the models put together. I think it looks fantastic. And then I think the rest of the pieces with the different weapons of the arms are just going to be changing the pose a little bit about how they can stand and maybe giving them so they can have two different things one in each hand so we've got a little little bit to work with there but certainly not as much as those Adepta Sororitas Novitiates. Along with some transfer sheets that pretty much covers everything you're going to get in the box set but is it too expensive and I think a lot of people have been talking about this we've got the prices released now so we know how much it's going to be so let's take a look at the prices and then that will hopefully give you an idea as to whether or not this is something you'd like to buy so we've seen the prices going up quite a bit lately on the Warhammer products and here I mean with all products really not even just with Warhammer I think that gets left out quite a lot you know it's not just a price increase for them it's across the board everything's going up um, lots of game companies are putting their prices up so but we you know we are talking about Warhammer here so let's focus on those prices so for Kill Team Chownath the price the English price is £105 and US is $170 I'll rarely pay the full price, the full RRP, and with a discount, you're going to be getting this for around £84 on the online discount stores and even in your local game stores as well. You can get some great discounts, maybe even a little bit cheaper than this if you get lucky. So I think for £84, that's really the price I'm going to be looking at to decide whether or not this is too expensive. I think it's hard to decide if something's too much for everyone. There's no way I can say that. If you really like the kill teams that are included, you like the terrain and you like the sound of the rules, then it's, you know, it's not going to be too much for you if you can afford it and you want it. So that's going to have a lot to do with this. It's that desire and how bad you want it. For me, nothing's really standing out and getting me. So then I have to think, is £84 too much? 
perhaps this time and will I have to leave it maybe pick it up later we've got a lot in the pipeline we've got the new war cry red harvest coming out and also some other cool pieces and um, models so you've got to take that into account as well but if I just played kill team then I think for £84 I could easily be persuaded I don't think it's too much for what's included especially when you compare it to some other games and that's exactly what I've been doing today. And it probably wasn't such a great idea, really. Um, I was really keen on getting the Chalnath set. But again, the price was just a little bit too much for me. I think if it was two brand new kill teams, then I would have been more attracted to it. And I have got the Tau on order as part of the Imperium magazine subscription. So I could use them later on. That was always going to be the plan. So... It wouldn't be the end of the world for me to miss out on this one and pick up the next set. So that's kind of where I I'm, am at the moment. I'm also finding with the new kill team, it's very different to what I was used to with Warcry, where you could just pick up a new warband, learn them really quickly and get playing them almost immediately. With kill team, I'm finding I have to learn the rules a lot more for each individual kill team. And I've already got the Grey Knights lined up. I've got some Space Marines, Necrons. I've got also, I've got about eight different ones ready to go. So to add two more to that list, I feel like I'll never get round to playing them. But then I was looking at Dead Zone and that comes out this weekend. And I've just done a video on that on the channel actually. So if you wanna check out what that's all about, that's available to watch. And Dead Zone is priced at RRP of 90 pounds. And of course we won't be paying that RRP. And I've looked on Wayland Games where they're offering it for 71 pound. So that's a lot cheaper. And here you're gonna get something like 24 25 miniatures you're going to get terrain the board is a paper mat so it's not a good quality mat but it's still a mat and you're going to get all the scattered terrain the dice two rule books and tokens and so now i'm comparing those prices and i can't buy everything so i've got to decide what to get i've had my eye on killed uh, on dead zone sorry for a while since bjorn pointed it out to me so thanks again for that um, so yeah, it's making the comparison between the two and which one do I want to get right now? Which one could I potentially wait for? I'm still really enjoying the Kill Team Octarius set. I think it's got so much to offer and with the compendium book as well and the miniatures I've got already, I've got lots to get on with. I've got loads planned for the channel to keep putting out Kill Team content. So I think getting this new one would almost put that back a little bit. So I'm tempted to wait a little bit. I don't think it's going to sell out. I'm going to like not be forced to like make that purchase because of this pre-order promise I could certainly pick it up next month or in a, in a few weeks time I'm always going to run the risk of not being able to get it but I think that's no problem um, I've got so much I want to do with what I've already got with Octarius I think I can wait a little while I'm also really tempted by Dead Zone 3.0 the terrain system looks really fun and learning some new rules that seem a lot simpler would be really great for me personally. And as a player with my boy who's only 10, I think having like a simpler rule set would be really fun to try out. And so the characters look great as well. We've got some sci-fi rats. What more could you ask for? So I'm tempted to give Dead Zone 3.0 a go at this time and then maybe pick up Chalnath later on if it's still available. But what do you think? Is this too expensive for you? Or are you happy with the price and will you be picking it up? I think um, if you do play Kill Team as your main game, or if you really like any elements of it, then it's not going to be too expensive. So it really is a personal thing. And, you know, how you play your game is up to you and how you spend your money is up to you. If you think it's too expensive, don't buy it. And if you like something else because it's cheaper, get that instead. So, you know, I'm not going to say it's too expensive for everybody and just put that like blanket statement out there. I think it's there's too many elements involved and everyone can decide for themselves. But I'd love to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section below. It'd be great to hear from you. Hopefully this focus on the contents and going through exactly what's included will help you decide as to whether or not you're going to pick this up for your collection. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page, and thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share our ideas and help each other out, and you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description, and it'll be great to see you there.